Hello everyone, in this particular video, we are going to study about the section 194N of Income Tax Act, tedious on cash withdrawals. The payer is required to deduct TDS if their cash withdrawal exceeds a specified limit. Ok, now let's see who is required to deduct TDS, when it is required to be deducted and what is the threshold limit. The deductors are bank, whether private or public, the cooperative banks and the post office. The payee shall be classified into two. On the one side, the person who has not filed income tax return for three consecutive preceding years. On the other side, the person who has properly filed the income tax return. The reason for this classification is the rates and the threshold limit is different for these two type of person. The threshold limit is 20 lakh if he has not filed a proper income tax return. On the other hand, it is 1 crore. Pay some more attention at this particular part of the video because this is the favorite part for the examiner to test it in the examination. For the person who has not filed proper income tax return, no TDS up to the limit of 20 lakh. From 20 lakh up to 1 crore, the TDS rate is 2% and beyond 1 crore, the TDS rate is 5%. On the other hand, there is no TDS up to the limit of 1 crore and beyond 1 crore, the TDS rate is 2%. Okay, let's understand it through an example. Let's take Mr. K and his friend Ms. S. One of them is having savings account and the other one is having current account. Actually, this example is made to make you understand that section 194N is applicable to both savings bank account as well as the current account. Here, Mr. K has not filed income tax return for three consecutive preceding years. On the other hand, Ms. S has properly filed income tax return. Both of them has made the following cash withdrawals. Even though the cash withdrawal made by these two is same, but the TDS rate is not going to be the same. For Mr. K, there will be no TDS up to the limit of 20 lakh and there will be TDS at the rate of 2% for the cash withdrawal from 20 lakh to 100 lakh. For cash withdrawal beyond 1 crore, the TDS rate is going to be 5%. On the other hand, for Ms. S, there will be no TDS up to the limit of 1 crore and TDS will be collected at the rate of 2% for cash withdrawal beyond 1 crore. Okay, now let me make some changes in this particular example. What if Ms. S has made cash withdrawal for only 99 lakhs? In such case, there will be no TDS in the hands of Ms. S as she had properly filed the income tax return. Okay, what if Mr. K has made cash withdrawal for only 99 lakhs? In such case, TDS will be deducted. Okay, now let's see the non applicabilities. TDS under section 194N is not applicable when the payment is made to the government body, bank, whether public or private, the business correspondent, and the white label ATM operator. I hope you guys understand the section 194N, the TDS on the cash withdrawal. We'll see you guys in the next video.